Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Njabu for those who don't know and I have a fresh prophetic word that I want to share with you all today. So this is a word for people who are feeling confused, right? And feeling as if there's information that you haven't been able to access answers that you don't have and you've been asking and asking the lord for this information for this revelation for this understanding and not getting it okay so for some people the reason that you haven't been able to receive this information is because it has been purposely hidden by the lord himself right and that is because there are some people who are pursuing the answer or pursuing the revelation instead of pursuing God. Sometimes as believers, we fall into the trap of pursuing the thing as opposed to pursuing the God who gives the thing, right? We fall into a trap or a habit of pursuing the answer, the revelation, the information, as opposed to pursuing God. And this is something that it's easy to fall into. It's easy to fall into this kind of routine. So don't condemn yourself. It's okay. Just get back up. Just get back up and get back to a place where you are in a love relationship with the Lord. Okay. And I definitely emphasize this approach again for people who know that there is information that is available to you. The Lord may have even shown you that there is something that he wants to reveal to you, but they're not taking that extra step to reveal it. Solutions are spiritual. Solutions are spiritual. The process by which we arrive at a solution, the process through which we get an answer for us as believers, that is a spiritual process. You understand me? So we need to stop seeking the thing so much and get back to seeking the Lord and understand that as you pursue the Lord, the information is going to be unlocked in the process. Understanding comes with proximity, okay? Understanding comes with closeness. The depth of the understanding that you have is determined by your distance from the person who has the ability to give you that understanding, okay? And let me give you an example because I know that sounds like a little bit lofty, right? So a practical example, a practical way that this plays out is, for example, if you are the CEO of a company, right? You're the CEO, you're the top dog, you have maybe a VP and you have a bunch of other people who are senior. You also have a personal assistant, right? You also have a secretary or PA. Chances are that your VP doesn't know anything near the amount of information about you as your personal assistant does, right? And that's be not because you're playing favorites. You know, the VP is senior. The VP is probably highly accomplished. The VP probably does a lot of work. The VP might even be more gifted than the personal assistant, might even have a nicer personality than the personal assistant. But the personal assistant is the one that you walk with on a day-to-day, -day, right? That is the person that you talk to daily, okay? That is the person that is your right hand. So it is that proximity. It is the closeness of the relationship that allows the personal assistant to know so much about you and to even know so much about the company, okay? There are times in life when the information that you want so badly has been intentionally hidden in order to drive you deeper into the Lord because the Lord knows that that's what it's going to take to bring you back home, right? It's going to take the non-response. It's going to take the lack of clarity in order to bring you back home so you can receive from him the way that you used to. There is effort involved in accessing certain kinds of information from the Lord and that effort looks like a diligent pursuit of relationship. Diligently pursuing God himself is what's going to unlock certain mysteries, okay? Remember that the Bible says that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The Bible also says above all thy getting, get understanding, right? Pursue understanding. So understanding sometimes has to be actively retrieved. Sometimes you have to work and go out and take it, right? And that is why we sometimes get stuck without understanding is because we haven't done the right kind of work to receive it. 
sometimes it's not a gatekeeper who is standing at the door trying to block you from getting the breakthrough and the revelation and the knowledge. And sometimes the one who's at the gate is the Lord. Sometimes the one blocking you is the Lord. And it's him saying, yes, I know you want what's on the other side, but you have to come deeper into me first. Yes, I know that you want what I have available to you. Yes, I even know that you want what I have promised to you, but that doesn't change the fact that for this thing, you have to go through me and you can't go around me. Okay. Colossians two verse three is the scripture that the Lord highlighted to me concerning this message. And it says treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in Christ. Treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in Christ. So the same way that you think of hidden knowledge, think of hidden treasure, right? Because there are also some people who the information that the Lord has for them is an idea that is going to enable them to change their lives, an idea that's going to change the material conditions of their lives, an idea that's going to bring wealth into their lives, a new stream of income into their lives. And that is why you want that information so desperately is because you feel like, I know, I know that the Lord has something for me, but I just haven't been able to access it. The treasure of the wisdom and knowledge that is going to elevate or help or, or improve your life in whatever way is hidden in Christ. Okay. So you have to go through the Lord in order to get it. Remember also as well that God knows when we want something more than him, right? So God knows when you want the revelation more than him. He knows when you want the answer more than him. He knows when you want the house, the boyfriend or slash, well, the husband, the wife, whatever more than him. He knows, okay? He knows when you desire the thing, the thing more than you desire relationship. And you might not be able to see that, but he sees that, right? So when he sees that, his response to that will sometimes be to deny you information concerning that thing to not even speak about it not even speak about it until you get the picture and understand that he's calling you back home God will sometimes use silence in order to draw you close enough to him until you are back in right standing with him. And he doesn't do that to be controlling, right? Because at the end of the day, first and foremost, he's doing that in order to protect the salvation of your soul, right? First and foremost, he's doing that because you need to be in right standing with him to be saved, period. But also because he wants you to understand the importance of pursuing God without an agenda, okay? That is when he'll give you the answer. You the Bible says that when we draw near to the Lord, he will draw near to us, right? So as we draw near to him, what we get out of it is salvation. But as he draws near to us, what we get out of it is revelation, right? Because God is divine intelligence. He is divine intelligence. If you can think of intelligence embodied, that is the Lord. You understand me? So when the Lord draws near to you, you always get fresh revelation. You always get a dose of reality, a dose of clarity. And when we draw near to him, we get salvation. As believers, we don't pursue things the way that the world pursues them, right? The world teaches us that we need to go directly after what it is that we want. We take the straight road in the world where it's like the attitude is if you want it, go for it and get it. But in the kingdom, you know, things tend to happen, you know, the long way around, right? What we know from the kingdom, what we know biblically is that we take a detour through the Lord when it comes to everything that we desire, because you understand that God is the gateway we pursue the Lord for him. And then the things come after that, right? That is the biblical principle. And I know that we talk about this principle a lot, right? People love to talk about seek ye first the kingdom, seek the kingdom first and everything will be added to you, right? That's Matthew 6, 33. We've all heard that so, so, so many times. But I think that a lot of the time in the church, you know, when you've heard certain, certain scriptures over and over again, you kind of start to see them at, at a surface level, right? Because it's, it's information that you feel like you already know. And yet, if you think about it more deeply, you realize that you're not applying that information to your life, right? It's like you hear that scripture and it goes in one ear and out the other. You're like, yeah, yeah, seek first the kingdom. And then you don't seek first the kingdom. So I just want to give you an example of how this principle actually and literally works. Okay. So for me, when I was in my wilderness season, 
um, I was doing a lot of fasting. I was doing a lot of fasting and a lot of the time fasting for the season to end, okay? A lot of the time fasting for breakthrough, a lot of the time fasting for things I needed. There's nothing wrong with that. But I remember because my relationship with the Lord had gotten so close that one time I was like, you know what, let me just fast just to pursue the Lord. Like, let me just fast because I want to get closer to God. Let me fast because I just want to hear him more. So I literally just fasted to grow closer to God. And because he saw that I wanted him so badly in that moment, I wanted him badly enough to sacrifice something without any agenda in that moment. What he did was give me more than I ever expected. I went into that fast expecting nothing but the Lord. And what I got out of that fast was a purpose and was a calling and was an anointing and was clarity about who it is that I was made to be, you know? And I wonder if I had continued on the path that I was on of going to the Lord and fasting mostly for things, I wonder how much longer it would have taken me to access that kind of information, right? It was the hard posture of pursuing the Lord that moved the Lord to give me more than I asked for, okay? That is how the Lord will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ask, think, or imagine, right? When you pursue God for God, he tends to over-deliver. And when you pursue God for God, he tends to surprise you, okay? So that is the principle we're talking about when it comes to Matthew 6, 33. That is how it plays out in your life in a real way, is that you will do something thinking you're just doing it for the Lord and finding out that that choice to do for the Lord is going to open you up to things that you were never even bold enough to desire for yourself. Remember Colossians 2, 3, again, it says treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in Christ. So that is it for me. And I hope that this was helpful to you. For those who don't know, the Lord has called me into life coaching. So if you have been in the market for a life coach who is Holy Spirit led, then go ahead and check out my information in the description. Until next time, God bless you and keep the faith.